right. Oh, come on. Right. Just bear with me a second, guys. Hello with hello and hello as well. How are we all today on this Saturday? See, I've stuck to what I was saying, guys, about doing some train sim world on the 16th, which is actually today. Yeah, so, but first guys, let me just get something out. Today we are not doing the London commuter line today. We are not doing London commuter. No, 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 no. Not happening. Not today. I say, London commuter will be back <coughs> on this channel when it's been optimised a bit better. So... And same with Dresden. We'll bring Dresden back when it's been optimised a little bit better as well. But yeah, after today guys, the next Train Sim World 2 stream will be some point next week. I haven't got a date for you at the moment, but just keep an eye on all my other streams. A date will be mentioned. So yeah, I will be streaming tomorrow guys, but there'll be no Train Sim World 2, 2 stream tomorrow. There'll be none. But today, in today's stream guys, well first... Before we get into that, if you enjoy this sort of content, guys, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Also, can I say thank you to my new subscriber? Thank you very much. Thank you for joining. And yeah, all links to the socials will be down below, like the Discord, the YouTube, and the Twitch. And I think that is Darko that's just hosted me. I think I am correct. Oh no, hello Oggs, how are you? How Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're looking forward to the Cornwall route? Well guess what Oggs, you've just walked into me about to go through the Cornwall article. <laughs> but yeah, to get people to understand what I mean by the uh, description, where it's got, we're going to say hellos, and we're going to say goodbyes. But we're going to say hello to the new Cornwall route, which is out on the 21st of October. But we're going to say goodbye to Southeastern, because today is the last day of Sargovia Southeastern. Tomorrow, Southeastern trains start. But yeah, welcome, Mogs. How are you feeling today? But right, let's actually uh, set this train up. We're on the Great Western Express, guys, in a class of 166. I was about to say 377 then. <sighs> Wrong train. <laughs> right, I am actually going to turn my motion blur off because every time I seem to come on, my motion blur, or my motion blur automatically turns itself on, which is really irritating. Right, I know up here there is an AWS button. There we go, the AWS is now on, which is good. Headlights, yeah we do want some headlights. Fatigued again, isolation ends tonight, but not going back to work for another few days. I'm sorting, ah oh, okay. Well, Oggs, I hope you get over your uh, fatigue and all that. And yes, guys, we are at London Paddington to inform you. Close the door. Close the... Thank you. 
Right, let's get going. So, on this route, we'll be calling at Slough and Reading. That's it, Slough and Reading. It's from Covid, shouldn't last too long. Well, it shouldn't do. But hey, I haven't had Covid, so. Anyway, while we're going towards Slough, let's go through the article. So get ready to experience the beautiful Cornish coast in the Rivet Games West Cornwall local Penzance to St Orsall. Coming to Train Sim 1 2 on the 20th October 21st. Wish list it now on Steam guys if you're watching this on the PC. So the li the, co the linkage, wrong place. <laughs> the Cornish Main Line has long been the backbone for Cornwall. Opened in 1867, the line weaves its way through the landscape linking Cornwall to the rest of the country. Brunel originally built the line to his unique seven-foot broad gauge, but in 1892 the route was converted to standard gauge for those areas not reached by the main line. Branches sprawl out to serve local communities such as St. Ives, such as St. Ives Bay Line, which also sees tourist traffic. Holidaymakers keen to make the coastal getaway. Well, guys, I have driven the St. Ives branch in Train Simulator 2020. I can tell you, it is a beautiful branch to drive. So if you don't have, um, what is it, the rails of Devon and Cornwall, you wouldn't have done the St. Ives branch. <laughs> You'd be trying the 150 on the mo on multiple routes. Anything about that there, Alts, is the routes we have in train sim, the 150 doesn't run on the South Eastern high speed, the 150 doesn't run on the Great, we Great Western Express. It mostly just runs on right, down in Cornwall or up in Yorkshire or in Wales. So it runs in Cornwall, well, Southwest, Wales, and Yorkshire. There are any, any places the 150 runs. But yeah, then we've got a nice picture of the 150. Be in control of the recognisable BR class 150 slash 2. A staple of the rural regional line in England. Replenished, replenished in regional railways livery. Alternatively, experience more classic motive power in the form of the BR class 37 slash 5. Sporting rail freight grey livery and accompanied by YCV, Turbot and YGB. Seacro wagons. We'll put it this way, Ogs. When I get the 150, I can tell you I'll be getting my paintbrush out. <laughs> yeah, and then we've got a nice picture of the Class 37 with wagons. So, guys, read their interview with Rivet Games to find out more information about the challenging of the making of this route. Rare making of this route. Feel auth authentic to the 90s. Then we've got a picture of a th well, 37 and 150 passing each other. Then there's a YouTube video of get the first glimpse of the 150. And then, yeah, there's a YouTube video of how they built the 150. Then, well, if you didn't see the stream last night, guys, it's available on the train simulator channel on YouTube then yeah there we go all done well you get 156s 158s up here as well well in my area I get 150s no I don't in my area, I get 156s, 158s, and 170s in my area. And so sometimes, occasionally, a 153. 
But yeah, as I say guys, the plan for today's stream. We're doing a run from London Paddington to Reading, stopping at Slough only. And then after this run, we will be jumping over to the South East and High Speed for the rest of the stream. You've never heard of the 170? Ox, look it up on Google. That's all I can say, look it up on Google. <laughs> Ding! Ding! Yeah, so as I say guys, in today's stream we are not doing London Commuter today. I've done three streams on London Commuter. Now they're not as cool looking, but they are comfortable and they do come with air conditioning in the 170s. And they are better in insulated as well. Insulated, well, whatever the word is. Because yes, I have been on a 170 myself, so that's how I know. And I think in your area, Oggs, the only high speed stuff you really get is... Is Elinear Azumas and... Grand Central Adelantes. That's probably about it. That's only, I know Pacers are not a thing. Trans Pennine, probably one eight fives and eight oh twos, or probably one eight fives and sixty eights. Say so N and ER will be your Azumas, so they'll be like your eight hundreds. Grand Central will be your Atlantes one eighties. And then Northern Northern will be like your one fifties, your one five sixes, your one five eights. Don't know if you get the one nine fives, I don't know. Yeah, I, as you can kind of guess, guys, I know too much about trains. I don't, ha I don't have a life. Oh, okay. So it's just your one five sixes, your one five eights, the what, the eight hundreds, and the one eighties. What are you beeping for?
well the 142s when they were around because the 142s no longer run I say the 142s were actually a Leyland National ah yeah they were actually a Leyland National just put on a freight car a freight wagon that was it Yeah, basically a bus. Basically. Yeah, that branch going up there, guys, goes to Heathrow Airport, where the Heathrow Expresses go. And TFL Rail. Go to Heathrow Express, goes to Terminal 5. TFL Rail goes to... Terminal... One, two, three, and four. I'm amazed we haven't seen HST yet. Unless on this timetable there isn't actually an AM HST. And in real life guys, this whole entire line we're on now, all this will actually be electrified. So you'll have your, like, your 800s, your 802s, your 387s shooting up and down here. So are you doing any streaming today then, Ops, or is it just a day of chill out? Oh, there go, there goes the HST. Nice to see. Nice to see the Queen of the Rails. So we need one of those HSTs that we can do in livery design there as well. Okay, well here was one for you. Okay, Ox. Yeah, so guys, if you want to catch a HST now, they're um, down in Cornwall slash Devon or cross country or in Scotland. That's it. Catch them before they're gone. Or if you really want to go and see a museum of uh, Class 43s, go to Ely Sidings up near Cambridge. Oh my god, there's literally like tons of them. <laughs> I mean, tons of them, all out of service. About 5.30 this morning you heard a diesel train uh, at the station near next to me. Oh 
Okay, what was it? What was the diesel train? If you if you live near a metro met yeah, metro train station, why was there a diesel there? That's unusual. Any diesel I can probably think going through a metro place would be freight. Oh, okay, the nine, the nine fifty. Yeah, that's a network rail train. As you see, as you just said, a converted one fifty. Right, and then we come to Slough. Slow down a bit too much, I think. Well, it sounds like to me, oh, because it sounds like they were doing a uh, build. They're going to be doing track works in your area then if there was a uh, surveying train there. Because that sounds very unusual. rare to see the 950, very very rare. For well, here's inside R166, very green. And first class. Just making sure my tail lights are actually on. No, you don't normally. Right, close out the door, sit in the seat. Right, we've just got Reading left to go now. Yeah, apologies for any lag on the stream, guys. Reading in seventeen miles. So, Oggs, if you had to pick a train, right? What train would it be? Would it be a diesel? Would it be an electric? Would it be a steam engine?
Probably some sort of sprinter. Well, you know, for sprinters, there's the B, um, there's the class 150 slash 1 with the flat front. There's the B, uh, the class 150 slash 2, which has the corridor bit on the front. Then there, then there used to be a 151. Used to be. There was no such thing as a 152. Then you got the 153s, which actually are converted 155s. There's no such thing as a 154, uh, the 155s, the 156s. There's not a 157. Then you got your 158s, and then you got your 159s. Which actually, the 159s literally don't like 158s. And they're all your sprinters. <laughs> I know the 151 looks weird. <laughs> there was only one produced. <laughs> it was produced and then put in service and yeah, that was it. Gone. Weird. One five two. Um, there wasn't a one five two, as far as I'm aware. They were. They were planning on making a one four two, a one five two out of I think it's one either a one five six or a one five eight. Yeah, it depends on what diesels, really. Because I say, with me and diesels, I'm not really that picky. <coughs> I say, like, for example, the first time I was for a Class 170, I looked at them and I was like, well, hey, that looks weird. But then I've got used to them over the years. Right, 12 miles to Reading, or as the Americans call it, Reading. But the thing is, right, why call a place Reading when the word actually does look like READING? <laughs> can never work that out. That's the annoying thing, it you cannot open the window. So we've got five minutes to cover ten miles. Don't think that's going to happen. Which train would I pick? Hmm. I don't know really with diesel multiple units. I like my sprinters, but I also like my turbo stars as well. 
Now I'm actually keen on the new 159, 195s that have come out as well and yes I have seen one in real life. So does that help in any, any way? But yeah, if I had to go diesel units, like diesel locos, my top diesel loco at the moment would be Class 20 at the moment. A class 20 and then a class 50 are my two top ones at the moment. And I say this one I'm driving at the moment guys is actually a Thames Turbo at the moment. I can't, is the thing Oggs, I can't tell the difference between a 158 and a 159 except from the extra carriage, but actually technically the 158s have three carriages as well, there's some 158s that are still lurking around and in Northern they have three cars, odd. But technically the 159s are actually X-158s. They had a bit of, well from what I'm aware of, they had a few little changes to make them into, like, have an intercity kind of style, but that's about it. Um. I'm not sure with the black round the windows because I think the 158s have it as well. I'm not sure on that one. Well, we're overtaking another Thames Turbo. Okay, I'll give you that. But what's your what's the best what's your favourite livery on the one five nines? Because you've got your regional railways, you've got your network of southeast, you've got your southwest trains livery, you've got your southwestern railway livery. Three point one miles to Reading now. Ah, you like the regional railways livery. Sounds like to me, Oggs, you're kind of quite old school. Say the first ever livery I saw on a train was the intercity livery, the black livery. The black livery at the top with white at the bottom and the red line on it. That was on the HST. I know I just saw a class 47 with it on as well. <laughs> Just start slowing down because I'm getting close to Reading now. Of 
question, Hogs. Have you ever been to London? Just for an ask. Probably asked you that before. There goes the Queen of the Railways. Oh, you've never been to London. Wow. Have you ever wanted to go to London? Right, we're slowly coming into Reading now, guys. Those platforms off to the left are for South Western Railway. You can get trains to Waterloo from here. Get trains from to Waterloo, Paddington, Penzance, Plymouth, Cardiff, Swansea, Great Malvern. Oxford. The furthest south you've been is Bristol and Bath. Even though some people go, no, it's Bath. No, it's Bath. Right, and we've arrived at Reading. Oh, and then <clears throat> in comes another Thames turbine. Yeah, I've been to Bristol and Bath. Yeah, the funny thing is, guys, something they should allow us to do is make a two car. 165 as well. That would be cool. Because they're not all just 166s that run on the Great Western. Well, the Great Western. Because I can't say it's the Great Western Main Line because it doesn't run from London Paddington. London Paddington to Bristol. Okay, we can lock those doors. Nice look at our buzzer. Okay, it took us 34 minutes 46 seconds, drove a distance of 35.88 miles. Distance walks 211.68 yards and action points of 5,864. Because, well, for train sim, if you want the best experience for the Great Western Main Line, go to Train Simulator, download all the add ons for Western Main Lines, and there you go, you've got the whole Great Western Way and Great Western Main Line. <laughs> but yeah, going, oh yeah, we're going to do the Great Western Main Line from Paddington to Reading. Uh no. No 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 no. Right. Now we're gonna flip over to the southeastern high speed. Because it's as I say, as I said at the beginning of the stream, it's the last day of Govia Southeastern or Southeastern Railway. So this is the part where we go goodbye. So chat, you've got a choice. We can either drive the 395, the 375, or the 465. You've got a choice, chat.
Gonna go have a nap. I'm wrecked. Been up since 4.50. Ouch! 465. Okay. Put it this way. Also, I've got liveries on the 465 as well. So you got the 465 standard when it loads up. So you got that one. Then you got the 8 car version. Then you've got my great northern livery. Then you've got the original southeastern. Southeastern with blue doors. Revised logo. Another original southeastern. Southeastern blue. Southeastern new blue. Southeastern new city beam livery. Or southeastern yellow doors. Chat, which one would you rather prefer? I don't think Oggs is in the chat, so I think he's disappeared now. So, I'm going to go for... The new blue livery. And we're going to go from... Raynham. But yeah guys, we'll do a run in the 465 the 375 and then we will finish up on the 395 So yeah, this is the point where we say goodbye Southeastern. Right, we don't want our lights actually. We want headlights. And then we will load up. And not the window. So yeah, here is my 465 in the livery that never happened. Yeah, we're taking this up to Gravesend, actually. Okay, I don't know why my screen went black then. I do not have a clue. That was strange. Right, look those doors. So it looks like they'll be calling out Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, St. 
Brood, Hyam, and Graves End. So yeah, we'll do this run to Graves End in a 465. We'll do a run from Gravesend to somewhere in the 375 and then to finish off the stream we will pick up on the 395. Then yeah, we finish the stream off in style. Or actually, I could do a 375 run from somewhere down to Faversham and then pick up the 395 back to London St Pancras. There we go. Yeah, if you want to do this scenario guys that I'm doing at the moment, you need the South East and High Speed route and you need the 465 route, route DLC as well. 465 doesn't come with the South East and High Speed. come to Gillingham at some speed and we got that up to about a 90 then. Oh look, there's another one of my liveries on the back, and that's the test livery of the 375s. Right, and then we come to Gillingham. And then comes another 375. Right, Gillingham. And then we've got Chatham, Rochester, Strood, Higham and Grosend. Because this service is going to London Charing Cross.
and that's going to rain on where I've just come from. You know what? The yellow comes down a bit further. Right, cheer them. It's the Chatham. Hip 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 hooray. Yeah, I, if you wanted to know guys, I have lost the plot. There's a javelin. And we're coming into Chatham now. And here's Chatham. Chatham, guys, has two ex-naval ships in the dock. We've arrived at Chatham. Next station stop after this will be Rochester, then Strood, then Higham, then Gravesend. All right, Whistler. Right. 
Right, 0 0.8 miles to Rochester. I meant to say Rochester, not Rochester. So in we come to Rochester. Do 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 do. Whoa whoa whoa. Okay, there goes another one of my liveries. Just ha. Yes, yeah, so what we've got now is it's Strood, Hyam, and Gravesend. Dun, dun, dun. Wonder if between um I think it's either Graves End, no, yeah, Hyam and Graves End. I wonder if there's any 66 locos going to be in there in the sidings. Don't know. Strood next. Strood.
Yeah, that line going off to the left there, guys, that goes to London Victoria. The line, uh, the line, the line I'm on goes to Charing Cross. In we come to Strood. I was about to say, in we come to Charing Cross then. I was like, wow. <laughs> I was going to say, we've jumped from um, one, cut, one area to another area pretty fast. Here we are at Strood. So all we've got left now is Higham and Grove's End. This is another thing I like about Train Sim Yelator or Train Sim World. You can sit in your own home and go to destinations that you would never ever go. Like for example, I've never been to the South Eastern line in my in there, in real life. But I can go on the South Eastern line in Train Sim. Right, hi am next. in 2.3 miles to Haim. The thing I've noticed, they've got a thing about a lot of Haims on this route. There's... Yeah, they've got a lot of Hams. There's Haim, Chatham, Gillingham, Raynham, Faversham. See, there's the word ham at the end. Which is that one? Well. Going for the world record. about 83 miles an hour. It's 
slowing down so I can come and tell you hi -um. And then we just got Graves and left. And it's another 375 in my livery. And that's in a test livery as well. With a standard 375 on the back. Right, we've arrived at Haim. And I just spotted the collectible as I came in as well. Okay. Just check and see if there's anything else I've actually missed. I don't think so. So I've got five more route maps to find. And then we will get on the train and go to the final station stop of Gravesend. Right, off to Gravesend. Where we terminate, but this service doesn't terminate. Train boat! the train boat in my stream again. Right, we've got 3.9 miles to get to Gravesend.
me mind they free then. Oh well. Gotta go at eighty five miles an hour. Sadly, we can't get to eighty eight miles an hour. So, sadly, guys, we can't go back to the future. <laughs> Which is a shame but we can't go back to the future in a 38465. I don't know where the hell I got a 387 from then. with some containers on. Okay, that's my third achievement today. Third. <laughs> okay, here we come to Gravesend. Well, it's 465 service terminates. Well, it doesn't actually terminate, but we terminate, so. Yeah. We will shut up. There's the 465 in the livery you never got put in.
Okay, what's this to lock those doors? Anyhow. There we go, that took us 32 minutes 39 seconds. We drove a distance of 13 miles 44. Distance walked 854.15 yards. Action points of 6,848. Right, time to move on to the 375 and then we will finish on the 395. So we'll take this 375 down to Favisham. And then we'll run a 395 back from Faversham to London St Pancras. So explore timetables. 375. Let's put it in a different every Oh, well, let's have the one in the blue doors. Right, have we got any Faversham services? Well, we've got one from Faversham. But have we got any two Faversham? We've got one to Dover Priory, which is also going to Faversham as well. So. <laughs> let's say this terminates at Faversham. Well, oh, we terminate a fashion, this one doesn't terminate a fan there, there, there. Let me just get my words right. DBBR 187, out now. Yeah, sadly don't own that train, don't own that DLC of Cane Creek either. I own that DLC. That's a brilliant DLC. Right, 1C error. 34, London, Victoria to Dover Priory. We are here at... Rochester. I mean, just put my AWS on as well. I'm not the DSD. Get those doors open, get the headlights on. There we go. The one on the back, haven't we? Yep, we've got the standard southeastern livery on the back. So we are an eight car set. Sorry, just bear with me guys, I'm installing stuff for my train simulator as well while doing the stream.
Right, so our next station stops will be Chatham, then Gillingham, then Raynham. Is that right? Chatham, Gillingham, Raynham, Newington, Sittingbourne, Tainham, and Faversham. There's a lot of hams in this. But yeah, if you want to know about the Cornwall DLC chit chat guys, whiz back to the beginning of the stream because I do talk about the Cornwall DLC. And I will link it down below when this goes up on the YouTube, so. But yeah, we will do this run to Faversham. And then we will come back in the 395 back to London St Pancras and then depending on how much time I've got left After this, I will be looking at something new. And it won't be a new train either, so... Because I have decided not to go for the DBBR187 or the 1938 stock. I've decided not to go for it, so... into Chatham which we are early three minutes early actually You can definitely see there used to be a railway line here, you can definitely see it. I think there used to be like a railway or a siding over here as well. Because you can actually tell, funny enough. Same as on this side you can tell there used to be a railway. Right, off we go to Gillingham. And then I say we've got Raynham, Newington, Sittingbourne, Tayham, 
and Fabsham. That's the thing then. I say, I know the number up there is slightly different, guys. I understand that. Ah, oh, there goes one in the uh, yellow doors. Right, 0 0.7 miles to Gillingham. And yeah, so guys, this 375 comes with London to Faversham. Or South East and High Speed. Okay. Yeah, the 395 and the 375 come with the route, so. Rain them after this, and then Newington, Sittingbourne, Tayham, and Aversham. lock the doors. And then we can shoot down to Raynham. Yeah, that was another one of my liveries, as you just saw. <laughs> Seeing if there's anything over there in the sidings. Ah, watch out for the trees. Yes, there is. One in my yellow door livery.
Alright, 1.6 miles to Raynham. Then we got Newington. That shows we're getting near Raynham now. Thank you, Noisy. My camera always has a habit of doing that. And Raynham. It's a flashing yellow. Yeah, the crossing's down. Newington, 2.6 miles away. It's only a 60, and I'm doing 55, so... Or coast.
Alright, we'll point two miles to Newington. Did not see what that was that went past. Right, you may come to Newington, which is a station I don't stop off that much on this line. Papers. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, guys, I do like to like doing collectibles. Just run down this other platform. So I don't know what that red area is on trains, like these three seven fives. We go route map. Hey. Safety sign. Always useful to have safety signs. to sit in barn.
so yeah, we've got Sittingbourne, Tayum, and Faversham left. Okay, stream, what are you doing? Right, there's the Sheerness line. Hopefully my stream catches up with, it, with itself. And I did not mean to emergency break there either, you pillock. There you go, it's caught up with itself now. Yeah, if you probably haven't noticed guys, I'm coming into the platform a bit fast, but I uh, hit the emergency brake. I'm going to get all the trains on the platform before unlocking those doors. So we've got Tayum and Faversham left. And then we get on to, wow. The Javelin. So yeah, we'll be finishing our stream at London St. Pancras International. Right, so off we go to Tayum. 
in a 3D miles. Ding. Yeah, I think Tame is actually on the line. Yeah. I mean, I don't have to divert, 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 yeah. Divert off to him. Diverge. Okay, I'm going a little too fast. Right, not far from Tayum. It's been a nice run actually, this. Yes, yeah, soon we'll be coming down into my favourite station on this line. Is actually, I do I really, really like Faversham. I really do. Come slowly to time. And we'll be looking at those doors shortly. There we go. Right, off to the final station of Faversham for this route. Then Faversham is where we will finish our 375 journey, and then is and then it, that is where we will start our 395 journey back to London St Pancras.
three miles to Faversham. Okay, I've uh, done about four or five achievements today. Oh my god. I've done so many achievements, it's unbelievable now. Thank you. Thank you, Shin. Right, sixty. Definitely shows we're getting nearer Faversham now. Shush. Right into Faversham we come. Then this train will continue to Dover Priory. Do you know one thing I have missed on this guys? Which I know people do do on the Train Simulator 20XX version is taking a 395, once it's dropped where its passengers off Taking a 395 and putting it into the sidings over there, out of service. Because not every truck, not every 395 goes to like Ramsgate, Margate, Favish, Ramsgate, Margate, and Dover Priory. Bloody hell sign. There we go. And now that train will head off to Dover Priory. Right, 36 minutes 53. That's hookers. Distance travelled 18.54 miles. Distance walked to 0 0.7 miles and action points of 9,205. Now on to the last part of the stream. To the 395. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, to the javelin. Right, we will go from Faversham to London St Pancras. So we get to go on the high speed route, speed route now. Right, here we are. Okay, we want master key in. Ah, oh, three seven five just come in. Yeah, we want our AWS on. Yeah, so this is one of the most, this is the beautifulest train on this route. So we are driving 395019. And there's a couple of 375s. Just making sure my tail lights are on. Yes, they are. Yep, Britain's fastest train, this is. Well, domestic train, shall we say. Just having a nice walk through. When the doors decide to register and open. Disable toilet and we reach the other end. Right, we'll be only be calling at limited stops now. So we're calling at Sittingbourne, Raynham, Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, Strood, Gravesend, Ebbsfleet International, Stratford International and London St Pancras International. It's been a while since I've driven this train. It's been a while. But the funny thing is, I know I just jump in the train. I just go, did, 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 just press a few buttons, and boom. Amazingly, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, 6.7 miles to the uh, city bonds now.
Yeah, and what I would say on this, on Train Sim World 2 guys, don't open the nose at the front because if you open it, you can't bloody shut the thing. I can say I, I have done that, I've closed it and then, no, I've opened it and then tried to close the bloody thing and it won't close. It's really irritated me. say the window on this train's a lot bigger as well so you can actually look further instead of being in the letterbox. camera will stop doing that because it's really irritating. Right, that's tame we're flying through now. Where well, we stopped earlier. Sorry, just bear with me guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. And a sneeze. Right, sitting by in 2.5 miles. Better start putting some brake on. As I'm starting to come up to you, sitting ball. It's not being funny, I don't want to go sailing through sitting ball.
Right, let me come to the sitting bone. <laughs> We're just here a little while ago as well, so. And I've just spotted a route map that I haven't collected. That really just bugged me. <laughs> oh, okay, there was a route map there. Train on this platform is the Medway Wanderer. The train coming in on this platform is for Dover Priory. So that's probably a 375 or 395 going to Dover Priory. Uh, don't do that. Five point six miles. So I got just got to play me trumpet. <laughs> yeah, I will be putting links down below this when this goes on YouTube, guys, of the Train Sim World Two, Great Western Express, South East and High Speed, BR Class Four Six Five. And I'll also put down below the social links like the Discord and the YouTube and the Twitchy Twitchy Woo. Well, all links are down below as well, guys. Down below the, the um, stream as well. Well, the social links, of course. There goes the Sheerness branch. Yeah, on this line guys, don't put it up into um, power handle 4 because it won't work on this train. Your power handle 4 is for your high speed ram train run. This is where after Raynham is where we chuck through Gillingham, Chatham and Rochester and Stroud. Now we'll be on the open road for Rose End and then to the high speed line.
yeah, I say this stream is called Say Some Hellos and Goodbyes. So yeah, we say hello to the Cornwall route. And then we say goodbye to South Eastern. Because today, as I said, is the last South Eastern. Like, South Eastern franchise, Go Via South Eastern, is their last day of operation today, which is the 16th of October 2021. It goes to 375, leaving Newington. I still love this train, I still love it. I best start slowing down to come into Raynham. And there goes another 395 in the opposite direction, going to probably Faversham, Ramsey, well, Ramsgate, Margate, Dover Priory. If I haven't already said that. After this we've got Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, Strood, Gravesend, Epsley International, Stratford International, London St Pancras International. So yeah, and we come slowly into a rainer. Sure, we've got four six five in. In one of my liveries as well. <laughs> right, we'll open the doors for that one. Or getting clunked in the face from my door. And that just says rain, yeah, it does just say rain, I'm on the front. Oh no, it's two four six fives. In the same livery, of course. Yeah, they've just got rain them on the front. Right, 
Right, we will run down to our 395. to Gillingham next. Yeah, that train when it leaves will be going back now three not three nine five. Four six five when it leaves we'll be going back to Charing Cross. is from a passenger's perspective. <laughs> Shut the door. Yeah, thought I'd just take some pictures of uh, being in a passenger's point of view. I know exactly what I've just done there. I left my seat. because I left my seat. That was a bit of a dingo idea. Oh well. You know, crap happens.
you start slowing down. Because I'm coming into you in Gillingham. Slowly coming into Gillingham now. And then after this we've got Chatham and then we got from Rochester. Now leaving Gillingham and heading towards Chatham. Hey, there goes one of my liveries on the Class 66 in DB Schenker livery. Actually, I'm wondering if at Hugh Junction there is actually another Class 66 in one of my liveries. I wonder. <laughs> I'm already going 50. Oh, no, I'm not. Come on, slow down for the 30. Right, coming into Chatham. Mm. 
not that far to go now before we hit the high speed lines. Yeah, we've got, after this we've got three more stations before we hit the high speed lines. Still such a really, really nice cab. It really, really is. It's really spacious. Right, to Rochester next. There goes a 375. Don't know where that will be going. It'll be somewhere mystic and magical. Right, Rochester. And then we've got Strood, Gravesend, Elsfleet International, Stratford International, and London, St Pancras International.
Right, lock the doors. And then off we go to Strood. Right, down we go. I say the line ahead there goes to London Victoria. The line we're going down goes towards Cannon Street and London St Pancras International. because we're going towards London St Pancras we're going down this road 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 line thingy whatever and that line coming in behind us is actually the medway to Tunbridge Wells actually no sorry Tom yeah Tombridge And also to, well, the River Medway. Of course. And then from here we'll be going fast to Gravesend. There's the pantograph, the containery. Yep, my tail lights are still on. I don't know what went on there. <laughs> right, and off we go fast to Grove's End, which is in six point six miles. So we've literally got four more stations left now. Gravesend, Ebbsfleet International, Stratford International and London St Pancras International.
Right, and off we go. Graves ending in 6.4, well, 6.3 miles. Very dark tunnel. I think I yell it for a second then. Okay, we're shooting through high M now. Another station where we call down here. up into Hugh Junction where the freight services uh, come and go. Interesting to see what this 66 is up here what livery it's in. It's probably either it's probably an EWS livery. Okay the class 66 is in EWS livery. There we go. Yeah, that class 66 that's being used, guys, is the one from the East Coast Way. If you do not have the East Coast Way, you won't have it. You won't get that class 66, and you won't get the extra freight services on the class 66 either. Yes guys, I have done one of the uh, Class 66 uh, freight runs on this line quite a while back actually.
Well, we're not hot. Uh huh. I meant to say we're not far from the high speed lines now, so. Going down for a 30. Here comes another 465. In the yellow door livery. And then we come to Groves End, where when when bleh, where when we were driving the four six five, we terminated here. But the four six five continued on to Charing Cross. But now we're not terminating here; we're just dropping off here and then heading towards the St Pancras. Here comes another 465 with another 465 on the back. Sorry, what? I've just spotted something different. Sorry guys, before we leave I've just got to go and check that out because I've just spotted something. <laughs> oh yeah now DTG didn't tell us about this livery did they get out the bloody way <laughs> Back to the Medway. 
D2D have snuck that livery in. Sneaky. It's a good job I caught that livery actually. Back to the medway. Sneaky. Right, Ebbsfleet International, then Stratford International, then London St Pancras International. So we're doing everything international now. Beating go. I wonder if when we get to London St Pancras we'll see the train boat livery again. <laughs> that would be funny. So now would if if it is at London St Pancras then I would have seen it twice in a stream. Yeah, we're going off here to the left. Yeah, so we're going off here to the left. That line on the right now goes to you. Charion Cross. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I had to slam my emergency brakes on then, guys, because I was about to speed. Oh, shoot over the platform. I should have my pan up now. Admittedly, no I don't. Is it not allowing me to switch? Oh, I'm confused. Hang on, let's 
need to press that again. Ah, oh, that was why. Pan is now up. Right, we can now go... Bombing through. Because we're now on the high speed lines. Next station in 16 miles will be Stratford International and then St Pancras International. Takes a while to build up speed. And there we go, we're now speeding to Stratford International. This is under the M25. Yep, under the M25.
that's not the best place to sit. Well, there you go, guys. That's the uh, passenger view from when we're on the uh, high speed one. You can actually run the 387 from the London commuter up and down here. No problem. Diving into another tunnel. And say, it didn't used to be this light in the tunnels. From what I know, it used to be a lot darker than. It's gonna start to slow us down soon. Ready to come into Stratford. wants us to go 225 but yeah it wants us to go 200 now but I've dropped down to about 146 I know soon it'll say, right, go 160. Yep, I knew it. It's going to soon want us to go 100. Yep, 
Ein Meer bei. So the Euro stars were enough to worry you out slowing down through this tunnel. Euro stars could still keep going through this tunnel at 186 miles an hour. Right, and then we come to Stratford International. And here we are. So there you go, old Stratford International. Say, so up there is where Eurostars were crossed as well, up there. Actually, no. I'm not sure. Maybe. Thirteen fifty seven calling to London St Pancras calling out nowhere. I know I'll be calling a London St Pancras only, so... Right, get aboard the train, let's go to London St Pancras, where we will terminate. So St Pancras International in 5 miles Stream, we've looked at the Great Western. Well, we looked, jumped on the Great Western Express to go through the West Cornwall route. Then we jumped on Southeastern High Speed to say goodbye to Southeastern because, well, they finished services today. I'll say tomorrow. 
will be south e southeastern trains tomorrow. So in other words, SE Trains Limited will be taking over this um, all southeastern railway services. So yeah, southwest southeastern railway terminates on the 16th of October 2021. And South Eastern Trains Limited takes over on 17th of October 2021. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the uh, new logo is going to be as well. New Southeastern logo. Cannot wait. Starting to slow down now to a hundred. As we're nearing St Pancras International. Where, yeah, this train will terminate and we will terminate. So yeah, those lines coming in on the right hand side guys are lines to the East Midlands, so East Midlands trains, no sorry, East Midlands Railway will take you to places like Sheffield, Derby, Nottingham, Leicester, Loughborough and sometimes Leeds. And the middle platforms are for your Eurostar services to Brussels, Amsterdam and Paris. But yeah, here we come. Okay, it looks like we're not going to see the uh, train by livery again. Just before I terminate. Yeah, I do want to pull a little bit further forward.
Right, and there we go. Service is leaving. Don't know where that service is actually going to. Oh, that service is going to Margate, calling it Stratford International, Earthfleet International, and Margate. I went over Priory. Well, the, new, the next one's going to Dover Priory. The one on this platform's going to Margate. And the train we've just come on will be going back to Faversham. And there's the Eurostar platforms, and the platforms over in the far distance are the <coughs> East Midlands trains platforms. So yeah, there is our run on a javelin. So yeah, we've covered the 465. We've covered the 375 and we've covered the 395 so yeah Lovely jubbly. There we go. So that took us an hour and 18 minutes and 41 seconds. Distance driven 48.52 miles. Distance walked 1 mile. Action points 13,806. There we go. Lovely Germany. But yeah, I say guys, thank you all for watching. I say I'll put the links to the Train Sim World 2, the Fafford at the uh, South Eastern High Speed, the BR465, and I'll put all the socials down below like the Discord, the YouTube, and the Twitch. But yeah, I should be back. Well, if you're watching this live, I will be doing a first look after this stream. But if you're watching this on YouTube, I should be back tomorrow with something else. Don't know what yet. But yeah, my next Train Sim World 2 stream will either be on the 18th or the 19th. Depends at the moment, guys. Depends. So yeah, it'll either be the 18th or the 19th. My next train soon, World 2 stream will be. But I'll put it in the description guide for you guys to remember. But yeah, the 6th... The 17th guys of October, there will be no train soon, World 2 streams at all. But yeah, I'm going to say sign off. Thank you for the host from Mr. Oaks. But yeah, I'm going to sign off guys. Have a great rest of the day, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one guys. See you later, au revoir.